Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecrafts.com. Thank you for pressing play on the video today. Today I'm really quite excited. I'm coming today from the beautiful sunshine to film this video for you. Today, well when you're watching this anyway, um, I'm taking part in the Poodler's Design Series Paper Video Hop. Now the idea is this of this is I, along with a few of my um, Stampin' Up demonstrators, we've got to get we've got together. We're all in one big team called the Putlers, and uh, we've all got a f quite a few of us have got together to do a video hop. So the, so what will happen is if you watch my video and then if you go in to the description box below you'll get the links to all the other videos in this hop and I really hope you'll take that opportunity and pop round them all and uh, let us know what you think of all the projects we've done. The whole point of this is to showcase to you the great offer that's on just now on the Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper. At the moment there are 10 different packs of paper. I'll um, highlight these to you in my blog. Today I'm showcasing this one which is called Petal Promenade. I absolutely love it. But what the offer that's on for the whole of July is if you buy three packs of paper, you can choose another one free. How's that for a fantastic offer? So you can have four packs of paper for the price of three. The choice is brilliant. There are 10 different papers you can choose from. So you can have any combination of that. Now if you go around the, the blog hop, none of us know beforehand what each of us is showcasing so you're just going to have to take your chances and see what happens. So I love this, I love this pack so much, I've used so much of it already, I don't have a whole lot of it to show you but I thought I would um, home in on this one. This is the only full sheet I've got left so you'll see that it's beautiful with roses and I think carnations, stalks and some ornamental cabbages too and I think the colours go together fantastically for this and uh, on the back of this a beautiful marble design which you could use that in lots of... it's just beautiful. These are photographic... They're photographs and then printed onto paper. This one again, all kinds of pinks. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's peonies, peony roses and some kind of bud. I don't really know. I'm not that clever at all these things. I don't know what these... These are... I think these are roses. And beautiful, aren't they? Oh, I forgot to show you what was on the back of that one. Beautiful, like, pink uh, blushing bride, but a bokeh effect. Which would be handy in the background of a lot of cards. This one, roses, as I showed you, and another marble, but a pinky marble. Marble. I think it's got some blushing bride in it and some petal pink. I think that is gorgeous. These are all just bits. I'm afraid I don't have a lot. The, this came as a sheet of, I think it's six squares and three rectangles, and then on the back this beautiful crushed silk, in almost like a grapefruit grove shade. That's just beautiful. Gosh, more of that one with the pink bokeh on the back. There's one of the panels that I've cut out, sort of. More roses. And these pinky peonies as well. And that's got a kind of grey marble on the back. See more of it there. Fantastic. And then this one, this is the idea. You get the, the circles, the wreaths and the like rectangle wreaths here. Today I'm going to use a bit of this, oh I've not even shown you, I'm off screen here, a bit of this strip here with the beautiful, I think that's like freesias and things on a, a ban, a bow. So I'm going to use a bit of that so I will be cutting a bit of that in a little while. So I'll pop the paper out of the way, bring in the cards that I've I've been making a few cards with this. I've done some commissions with it already. But here we go, a very simple one. Where I've cut one of these square panels out, I've stamped a sentiment on it and I've backed it onto card. And then just a piece of the designer series paper. It's so beautiful, you really don't need much with it. 
and just an attempt fold card like that that one to the side and then I did this one and I'm going to do another version of this one with you just now so this is a gate fold and then I've left a bit there to do my, use one of the rectangles and one of the squares set up like a diamond there you can write your personal message in there and there you have a nice something slightly different After, this was one of the borders on one on the sheet that had these squares and rectangles which I've used on this I have none of that left so I am going to use a different one so I'm going to make a gatefold card with you now so if you just bear with me I'll get all the bits together for that and I'll pan out a little bit Okay, so I've panned out a fair bit so that you can just see what's happening here. So, I'm going to use some smoky slate this time because I did notice this is backed on smoky slate. So, I hope you can see this alright. My camera is just a bit away from me today so it's quite difficult for me to see. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut off this strip of this sheet right now. Just get that in my trimmer. I have no idea the width of it. And then just put this sheet out of the way so I don't squash it while we're working. Then I'll measure, I think I'll take trim a bit off the other side of this as well. So I'm actually going to make that measure three and a half centimetres wide. And of course now I've gone too close to that. I've gone close to that edge, so now I want to be a bit closer on this edge. So actually, if we go to three, is that too much? Maybe. I'm going to cut that to three point two. Right. This is how. This is how the cards develop for me. So I just set that to the side just now. And that is 3.2. Will you remember that? Because I'll forget. Do you think I should write that down? I think I better. I've got my measurements for everything else beside me here. So the panel is 3.2 centimetres wide. Okay, so... For the base card, we need a piece of card which is 21 centimetres across, which is the exact size of an A4 sheet. So I don't need to cut that part, and then I'm just going to cut the sheet at 15 centimetres. So 21 by 15 for your base card. Pop that extra bit out of the way. And then you're going to score at 5.25. Or in Scottish, 5.2 and a wee bit. Just between the 5.2 and the 5.3 centimetres. Do it on that side. Turn it round. And do it on the same on this side. And then pray that it works. And it did gatefold card how's that right and I've got ink extremely inky fingers today I've had a play date this morning with one of my team members Katrina and we've had inky fun real inky fun and I will film the cards that we made this morning I'll do something like that for you in fact it's possible you may have seen that before you see this. Confusing, isn't it, when you tape that you film things in advance? But um, this one today is going out on Saturday morning for our video hop. And I'm filming it on Wednesday afternoon. So a bit of luck, I might get another film done today and you'll see that today. <laughs> Are you confused? Because I'm confused. So, and then I want to cut this piece to 15 centimetres for my border to go down the front. I'm just cut, doing all my cutting now. So I'm going to put this on here. So if this is 
acne point two I'm going to cut this at four so that we've got a few centimeters on each side so I'm going to cut this two strips at four centimeters like that and then that will go down like that that'll be cool can you see that with the Highland Heather I did forget to tell you the colors I'm using Highland Heather and blush and bride along with the smoky slate it's just a different colorway for me and I'm just quite liking it and then another strip here at four putting all my bits over there just now so where are we can I oh no I can't get rid of this yet so I need two strips of this banner what would you call it it's like a bow isn't it I need two at 15 so I hope, I've, hope this has got enough in it so that one is 15 oh perfect perfect just a little bit off the top right so we have two, and the good thing is they're not identical, so for me that makes it all. So now it's like assembly time. So I've got gatefold card, which was really easy to make. I've cut, I cut the panels out earlier because, you know, watching somebody do all their cutting is not really a spectator sport. So I've cut this square out at... It comes out about a 7.6 centimetre square, so I cut an 8 centimetre square for the back of it. I add 4 millimetres all round for my border on these cards anyway. And I've cut one of the rectangles for inside for my greeting and then I've layered that up. Don't get too caught up with the measurements, I will put them on my blog for you. So once you've done the video hop, if you're interested in doing a gateful card a bit like this, hop on over to my blog at jazzledazzlecrafts.com and I will blog up, I will blog all the measurements for you and put a few photographs on just to help you if you want to do this. So what we'll do is we'll stamp a greeting. Now I just grab whatever stamp set I've got to hand for a greeting as I'm going to set this I'm going to set that at that angle. I ha I just happen to have this beautiful stamp set around the Southern Serenade one. So I am just going to grab the gre greeting that I like out of that. And it says, I'm so blessed to call you my friend. Well, I have loads of people I could send that to. I don't mean that I've got loads of friends, but I am lucky to have a lot of friends. So... I'm just going to use my black memento ink, the tuxedo black, and just inking that up. I love our red rubber stamps the most. I love them the most. And just lining that up a bit there so that I know that how it's going to go on my card. There we go. And just put it in the space between the flowers. I'm so blessed to call you my friend. What a lovely sentiment. That really is nice. I am blessed with some gorgeous friends. And you might be one of them watching right now. You might be the recipient of this card. Okay, so it's just gluing and sticking, I think, now. Find some glue that works. This one, I think. So, are you still with me? <laughs> Gosh. I don't know where about in the world you live, but here in Scotland we've actually had something we can call summer so far. It's been fantastic. In fact, some days have actually truly been too hot. <laughs> Not too hot if you're on holiday, but if you're trying to work. But how lovely for the school children. They're on holiday in Scotland now and they're having some nice weather. How fantastic. Right, so that's that's the sentiment for the front, glued up. Put that to the side to dry a bit, then we'll just layer up 
the bit that's for the inside and get that popped in. Just using my Tombow. I love my Tombow and it layers up so beautifully. This paper is so gorgeous. You really don't need, do you know, you can make yourself loads of cards from this really quickly. I think I'm going to be working my way through more than one pack of this. And what with a special offer, I think I might just get four packs of this for the price of three. What do you think? But then you look at the other papers and there's some fabulous. Get in your catalogue and have a look. I will be, I will put a link on my blog to the offer. But it's just, it's all the, not, none of the speciality papers in it. They don't need to be speciality. They're gorgeous. It's just, just the normal designer series paper. When I say normal, it's outstanding. Just have it all, really, honestly, don't um, waste time trying to choose what to have. Just get it all. Get it all. There, that's in the back. What do you think of these colours together? I wouldn't have, to, I just pulled them and just thought, they would work because I could see that the smoky grey was in the paper. So I think that works fine. So we'll just uh, layer up these banners, garlands, bows, whatever you want to call them. These will go on the front gates of this gatefold card. Just line it up, sort of in as much in the middle as you can. Just eyeball it. I'm not going to get into deep measurements. And as I've made that the same length as the card, that should work. So, here we go. And then, I'm hoping I'm keeping all this on the screen for you to see. I don't know what I've done with my camera today, but for you to be able to get a full view of my workspace, I'm having to stretch half across the desk. I don't know what I've done wrong. I've done something where it's just like, do you fiddle with technology all day or do you just get on with it? For me, I'll just get on with it. So, I've now got this gorgeous panels to put on the front and do you know we're nearly there? So. Just some glue on. Again, just eyeballing it to get it as straight as I can. And then this one. really doesn't take long. Just a few panels glued together. So we're getting that straight. Now I have to think about this because I want that to sit in the middle there. So I want to glue this half here. So there we go. So I've got a stick within the triangle there will be okay and not have too much glue coming over the edge because we want the card to open. So, and then we'll just bring this in the middle of the frame. Line it up. So the peaks are there and the square slightly overlaps the edges. There you go. What do you think? I really like this. I'm really impressed with my own work. But I like this colour real. I like the Highland Heather with the smoky slate. And the Blushing Bride adds a bit of interest inside. Because the Blushing Bride is in the flowers anyway. What do you think? That one? 
this one, the two gate folds, and then the plain one. Thank you for tuning in today. Please, please go down in the description box and see what all my fantastic colleagues have done. And please leave us some comments and let us know what you think. And do you know what's even more helpful to all of us as well is if you would hit the subscribe button, please. And the, if you hit the subscribe button, then you'll get a notification of what I do next so that you can have a look. Got some real exciting projects to come up from all the new things in the catalogue and but revisiting lots of the items that have been in with Stampin' Up! for a while. So watch this space. Thank you.